Welcome to Wednesday afternoon here in the kitchen, and I'm thinking about a treat. I was going to cook up some steak, I was going to cook up some pork, and then I was like, the sweet tooth is just a Colin. So I'm thinking cheesecake, but I'm not thinking any cheesecake. And I don't really want to bake, so let's do a no-bake Oreo cheesecake. What we're going to do is we're going to take a whole bag of Oreos, we're going to take them apart, we're going to make a cheesecake out of all of this, then we're going to cover it in more cheesecake, and then we're going to cover it in cherries. Ready? In the kitchen, Go. I feel like baking, but I don't feel like baking. So we'll do a no-bake cheesecake, but we got to make up some crust. So what we're going to do is make this baby with some Oreos. Get yourself a whole bag of double-stuffed Oreos. We're going to keep the cream from the middle. We're going to separate all of the cookies from their cream we're going to mix our cream in with our cream cheese for the bottom layer yeah it's going to be two layers we're going to throw some graham cracker crust so it's going to go oreo crust cream cheese mixed with the inside of the oreo and then we're also going to make a graham cracker crust then we're going to do another layer of cream cheese filling and then we're going to chop that all with some cherries it's going to be amazing i don't even know why i'm making this i just want to see if yeah, I can what we're it. going to do is separate our oreos from their delicious cream filling so all you want to do is just twist them apart throw that one in there keep it keep it all and then just scrape the top off with your batman's bottom layer oreo what do we do crush them up now what we need to do is make our bottom layer of crust so you need about a quarter cup of butter in your pan Melt that first, and then we're going to mix this in with our butter. That's going to hold it together. Take While that is mixed. Take Philadelphia cream cheese bar and just start cutting it up. Good old Cool Whip. Uh, about half of it. Maybe a little bit less to start. So let's go with a quarter tub of Cool Whip. Okay, now that our crust is completely covered in butter, nice and hot, the Oreos are very well melted. They kind of look like lava. That's kind of what they look like, like lava rocks. I'm going to pour these lava rocks. You know. Woogie. Okay. So our Philadelphia cream cheese and our Cool Whip and the inside of our Oreos is all whipped up. Our crust of Oreo cookie crumbs is now cooled and now we can spread this on top of this, so go for it. Now that we have layer one complete, our Oreos on the bottom and then our cream cheese and Oreo cream filling in the middle, what we're gonna wanna do is add in some graham cracker. Into your pan, uh, into your pan like that, and then grab your butter. Get your butter into the middle, touching the pan. Fourth layer, going on top. Oreo filling. Graham crackers and some cheesecake, like cherries. Mm. Look at that. That looking good, oh boy. Smooth it all out. Look at that. Okay. Where can we get a good angle on this? I mean, I'm sorry. Okay, as you can see, it's Oreo, and then it's cream cheese filling, but it's also mixed with the Oreo filling. And then we've got a graham cracker crust, and then we've got kind of a vanilla filling on the top with their cream cheese and then of course it's topped with cherry so then you're going to want to throw this baby into the fridge or the freezer depending how fast you want to cool it off for about two hours possibly 